only one under arrest. The Welsh government have completely lost their mind. Well, the Welsh government and their first minister, Mark Drakeford, have crossed the line now. Despite the fact that we now know, we have evidence that the full lockdown as a policy doesn't work, Wales have decided to impose a full lockdown. They've shut down businesses, they've shut down secondary schools, they've forced people to now stay at home, even though there will be consequences on a societal level, economically, people's livelihood. This is not the end of it. He's also imposed a travel ban. So if you're from England, Scotland or Northern Ireland, you're not allowed to enter Wales because clearly the Welsh government have been handling the situation so well in Wales that only people from other places are the risky ones and they shouldn't come in. Not only that, he's also decided to come up with a list of um, items and products in shops and supermarkets and he's decided what is essential and what is not essential. So when you go to your local Tesco or Sainsbury's or any other supermarket that you have in Wales, products are being covered thanks to the government in Wales. Um, and uh, one of the problems that we now have is these are obviously depressing scenes that we've been seeing across Wales, but homeless people who have uh, recently uh, lost their accommodation or they've been, you know, left their shelter um, without any items, they're not allowed to have a blanket because blankets are non-essential items now. So if you're homeless uh, in the streets of Wales right now, the Welsh government don't care about you right now. You can't even have a blanket. On top of that, this is a guy who's come up with all these policies for the past few months because of devolution. Westminster has given them all these powers. He's doing them. They're not working. They're losing money. And now he's asking for more money from Westminster. But it is only the UK government that has the financial power to guarantee the levels of income support workers need. And we need more generous payments to help workers through this crisis. Okay, Mark. I mean, you can try. But even the Treasury have said that Mark Drakeford's demands are idiotic. So according to the Treasury, the First Minister seems to have misunderstood the financial support schemes in place and available to Welsh businesses. The furlough scheme is in place until the end of October and businesses that are mandated to close are able to apply for the job support scheme from the 1st of November. This was explained to all First Ministers by the Chancellor personally on the phone the morning after he announced the expansion of the job support scheme. Now, I'm not even defending the central government's policies at this point, but when you have all these devolved powers taking advantage and obviously look, they're imposing all this weird stuff and taking taxpayers' money to fund their weird projects and we know the Welsh government have been wasting money in a number of other areas as well. So stop it. Now we've seen uh, marches across the country, especially in central London, in solidarity with the Welsh people. And uh, I attended it earlier today uh, in London. So let's go to the report. Actually, this, this would be a pretty good report. Loving your post, mate. Thank you very much. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> and we are the power. We vote the government say we vote them out. We don't want foreign governments. We want elected governments for other people, for other people. Yeah, go on, you know. <laughs> the Polish group, let me... Oh, 
uh, we're like a big Polish group of libertarians. Yep. And we, we follow you, mate. On, uh... <laughs> Tell me what I'm under arrest for. <laughs> Sorry, sir. What did you say? Why though? 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 Hey, back then, you see what's going on there. Two months they've had over one million on the street. The last month they've had two million on the street. We're not hearing about it in the media. Right? Look what's going on in Australia. They're camping down a lot heavier in Australia than they are here. They're not, they're not, the government aren't being transparent enough why people are Your government's alive. We are out to put these idiots behind bars. Alright? Because that's what needs to happen. The police eventually have to choose. So the protesters are getting close to Parliament Square. The police tried to stop them um, near embankment, uh, but now they've finally let them come. Uh, although the police are already getting ready to intervene anyway. Uh, so we'll see how long it will last. Can you see London? I don't know any of the others. Who sells their stuff with fake news media? Subject action. Shut up. Shut up. Subject action. The, the mainstream media aren't really around today. Doesn't matter because we are the media. Right, so I just got home and uh, as promised, I stayed out of trouble. And uh, some of you obviously watching that might agree with uh, a lot of things that people were saying. Some of you might not agree. Uh, the point of it is that I went there to obviously report because the mainstream media are nowhere to be seen. Uh, you've had obviously certain outlets uh, try to be there to find certain scenes to show that uh, you know, people are there to just cause trouble, which is not true anyway. Uh, and again, as usual, there was a coalition of various groups. Uh, uh, some of them actually disagreed with each other. You know, they had different uh, agendas and obviously uh, opinions. But overall, uh, it, the message was against the, the full lockdown policies, but also especially what's happening in Wales with the Welsh government and uh, Mark Drakeford. So that's obviously... Uh, the, uh, the, the whole point of it. But thanks again for watching everyone. As usual, don't forget to share the video, like it and subscribe to the channel. I spoke to a number of people today uh, who said that they haven't seen my videos recently. So you have to make sure you subscribe and click on the bell next to it, the notification bell. Otherwise, you won't really get notified. You have to click on all. But every now and then, just check the channel because uh, I post the video every day 
I try to. Uh, but yeah, usually obviously we have a daily show and uh, today was special. We, I'm only uploading one video today because obviously I was out reporting from the March. Uh, thanks again for watching and don't forget to support the channel by becoming a member. You get a lot of perks and benefits. Uh, just check out the link in the description or just go on uh, youtube.com slash myTC slash join. I'm myTC and I'll see you guys in the next video.